So today I created this colorful look for you guys. Some of you guys keep telling me you want to see more color on my channel. So I'm trying to incorporate that more into my channel. You know, just a little bit, just slide it in there somewhere. So I really hope you guys like this soft cut crease look with this bright purple lip. Um, I did use a few new products, which you guys will see in the video. So if you guys are interested in how I created this look, please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done and my eyelids already primed. I primed my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. And then I set my eyelid with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder that I got online. Okay, for my transition color, I'm going to be using Brown Script from MAC with my Morphe M441 brush. I'm just going to take it into my crease and blend it all into my crease. I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm blending it inward with circular motions. You don't really have to be too neat with this part. The only part that's going to be a little difficult is when I start to cut my crease and that's about it. The rest of this look is about blending so you all should be good. Now I'm going to take my Sosu Sand palette and I'm going to take this color right here and blend this into my crease as well because I want my crease to be on the pinky purple side. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush. I want brown script to peek through a little bit because I want my crease to be a little on the warm side. So I'm going to put it right into my crease and blend it out to like this. But I'm not going to go up all over my lid and if you guys can tell this pink shade does have a purple undertone so it's just going to tie in with this whole look you don't really have to worry too much about your lid area right now because it's going to be covered and i'm kind of winging the eyeshadow out because i want the shape of my eye to be a little bit more exaggerated now i'm taking violeta and maroon berry or maroon berry from coastal scents and i'm going to lay violeta down first and then I'm gonna go in with this color. So basically I'm using both of these colors to deepen up my crease. And they're both from Coastal Scents. And I'm using the same Sonia Kashuk 109 blending brush and you can get it from Target. And this is where you're gonna want to start getting a little bit more precise, but then again, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna clean it up once you start working on your mobile eyelid. If you want to wing out your eyeshadow, you can, but if you don't want to, and you want your eyes to be more oval shaped, just go into your crease like that. Don't wing it out. And I just switched to my Sigma E39 brush to give me more of a precise application. Okay, and now I'm gonna take Corrupt from Makeup Geek with that same 109 brush from Sonia Kashuk and place this black right on the outer corner of my eye to deepen up this look some more and give it a little bit of definition and then kind of sweep it inward. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my MAC Mixing Medium and lay this down. So this is gonna give me a template as to where I'm gonna lay my eyeshadow when I actually lay it down. So right now, this is where I need to start being a little bit more precise with my application. So I'm gonna just take some of this mixing medium on my detailer brush from Real Technique and I'm gonna start right here in this inner corner and start to cut my crease. And I'm going a little bit above my crease because I want my eyes to look more open and a little bigger. And I'm not really cutting the outer corner of my eye because everything is going to be blending together. I just want this area up here to be nice and precise. And then this area right here, we don't really need it to be precise. So we're just laying the mixing medium all over our eyelid. So I don't know if you guys can tell how I cut my crease with the MAC mixing medium. This is just going to give me a template. So this is how the eyeshadow is going to look. And I'm just waiting for it to get tacky a little bit and then I'm going to put my eyeshadow on top. Okay, before I place this eyeshadow on my eye, I'm going to spray my brush with my Scandinavia Oil Control Spray. And then I'm going to take the eyeshadow, Venetian Gold from Coastal Scents is just a nice yellow gold color. And I'm gonna place this on my mobile eyelid.
And now I'm just gonna switch to my Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I cleaned it off. And I'm gonna go right in the areas where my e.l.f. brush cannot reach. So yeah, just make sure you take your time with this look because it is going to require a steady hand. So just make sure you take your time. Don't try to rush it. Take your time, girl, take your time. <laughs> And that is how our crease is looking so far. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma E39 brush and I'm going to blend out this area right here. And I have some of that purple on the brush as well. I just added a little black on the brush. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush with some of the purple on it. Just a little bit, not too much. And blend it out a little bit more. And now I'm going to apply my eyeliner from Sigma. And now I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut with my angled brush and clean up this area right here. The mascara that I am using is this mascara that I got from the beauty supply store. This is the very sexy mascara by Ruby Kisses and the reason why I'm putting my mascara on first today is because I'm using mink eyelashes and I don't want to like mess them up so the lashes that I'm going to be wearing are the Southern Beauty lashes in the style Lindsay and they look like this okay so my eyelashes are on as you guys can see and now I'm going to go ahead and apply my glitter. The glitter that I am using is this Revlon glitter that I always use in my videos. And it looks so old, but I got it from CVS. And I love this glitter, so I'm going to use it. You don't have to put glitter on your eyes. I just want it to be extra. This look looks fine without the glitter. The reason why I didn't put this glitter on first is because I didn't want the eyeliner to be like really... Um, bumpy so that's why I waited so everything was basically done and now I'm just gonna wait for this glitter to dry and then I will be moving on to my face okay so today I'm going to be priming my face with the oil control spray from Scandinavia and I'm just gonna wipe that spray off my lips because my lips are very sensitive for some reason and then I'm gonna go in with the baby skin from Maybelline to fill in my pores Okay, for foundation, I'm going to be using my Fleur Roberts Cream to Powder Foundation in the color Mink with my e.l.f. Stippling Brush. And I'm not going to go up under my eyes too much because I'm going to put concealer there, so there's really no need. Now I'm going to highlight my face with the Black Up Cosmetics Oil Free Foundation in HC11. And I'm using this classic foundation brush to apply and blend out the product. So since we're being extra today, I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay Concealer and add a little bit more of a highlight under my eyes. I don't really need to do this, but, you know, since we're being extra, <laughs> might as well add to my nose, bridge my nose. And then blend that out with my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge. And 
And now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm just pressing this into my skin. Like so. And then I'm also going to take some of the powder on the rest of my face where I get oily. And set those areas into place as well. Like around my mouth. I like to get oily and crease. Now I'm going to be contouring with the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance in Medium to Deep with my NARS uh, Lookalike brush that I got from eBay. And I'm just going to contour my nose out a little bit. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to contour my nose since, since we're being extra today. And we're just going to blend that contour up into the eyebrow. You guys can see like this is contoured and this isn't. See? So my face is contoured. And now I'm going to go in and make sure everything is blended. We'll make sure my contour is blended. Because it was looking a little harsh. Now I'm going to add some blush to my face, but I'm actually using a bronzer today because this bronzer has a red undertone to it. But since we're being extra today, I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, my all-time favorite blush from Black Radiance. You guys already knew it was coming. So now I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line with all the colors that I used up here except for black. So this is how it looks when it's smoked out. And that's how it looks when it's not. If you want to keep your eyes more squinty, you can leave it like this and just add mascara. And now I'm going to take brown script and add that right below it. And now I'm going to add some mascara. And then I'm going to take this highlight from the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and add that in my inner... For highlight today, I'm going to be using these highlight palettes that I got from Pure. They did send me two. And they sent me a Glow Together Matte Shimmer Bronzer. But it's not going to be a bronzer on me. It's actually too light for me. So I can't really use this today or ever. But if you are fair, this would be a beautiful bronzer on you. So I got these strobing highlighting palettes. I got this one in Moonlight Glow, which will look beautiful on somebody that has fair skin tone. And then I got another one, which is the Sun Kissed Glow Strobe and Highlighting Palette. And it has these beautiful colors in it. Oh my gosh. And these are cream. So I'm going to use, what kind of brush am I going to use? I'm going to use an angle kabuki brush and I'm going to take this shade right here because you know it just looks like it's going to look bomb on my skin tone so might as well. I'm just going to dip in all three. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. Put it on the tip of my nose so I look like a glowing reindeer. And I really like how this applies because it's not breaking up my foundation or anything. Okay, for my lips today, I'm going to be doing this purple color from Southern Beauty. Hopefully this looks nice. Oh, well. I like the formula. It's really creamy. The formula is bomb. Like is not too drying okay so this is how the liquid lipstick looks dried but i don't really like how it looks on me so i'm gonna line it with this soft matte lip cream from nyx in the color transylvania i 
all right you guys so this is the finished look i really hope you guys like it i did end up putting up my hair and putting on a different shirt because i felt like the orange was clashing with the purple you know it just wasn't working right and then i felt like my hair was just doing the most so i put it up in this little rihanna style i might do a tutorial on it i don't know stay tuned <laughs> i hope you guys like it if you recreate it make sure you tag me in your pictures i'm feeling this strobing highlighter from pure i i love it it's like y'all see that highlight so yeah that is the end of this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment down below in my comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and also follow me on all my other social media platforms i have a snapchat and an instagram that i'm very active on so follow me on there and that is it i think that's all i have to say so yeah i will see you guys in my next video Welcome back to my channel. So today I created this duo chrome brown greenish warm smoky eye with this soft pink glossy lip. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. So today I created this coat. <laughs> my eyes are watering. Hi you guys, welcome back. A lot of I don't like filming intros like my eyes are watering. <laughs> no.